Hi, Glenn Martinez here of Olamonic Gardens. This is a little uh, message I want to send down to Murray Hallam down under. I was just his guest for a workshop down there on doing air pumps. And one of the things Murray liked was that I could pump the, uh, I could send um, a pump out here without having electricity. And this is, this is the air hose. So my air pump is safely inside the building. And this, you can hear, I think, maybe even through the microphone, the air coming up here. Now, this is my air pump. This is a pipe and a pipe pump. Now, this is a tank. And when I was at Murray's house, he poked a hole in the side of one of his tanks and we dug a well. On this one here, I've dug the well in the middle of the tank. And watch this. If I'm at the bottom of the fish tank, I hardly get any spit. But if I drop it down here, we know I will get substantially more water. Then I come along and I put this piece up here and we find out I can pump the water that high. Now that's really good, but I'm only pumping the water up. Now if I put the water up, that's a little messy. So we come along, we put a collector on it. And a collector, we do this. Whoa, getting wet there. I do that. Now I'm collecting, letting the air go out the top and the water come out the side. So we collect it, okay? All right, and I can go quite a bit higher than this. What I want to show you today and want to share with my buddy Murray down in Brisbane, Australia is something that we came up with. If I do this water, what if I need to go 50 feet somewhere else or to water other plants? Watch this, folks. I'm going to take this off if here, right? And I'm going to go even more higher. Let's say I want to go higher. I want to go about, oh, yay high, okay? Now I've got my water way up there, right? Now that's kind of cool, but I want to give you a different treat on things. I'm going to turn it off for just a second. I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to take that one off. And I'm going to take this new device. This is a collector here at the bottom. Now I'm going to take this collector and I'm going to put it there. Now I've got the water coming up here, but notice it's being smothered its own water. It's not shooting so high up here. Well, if I want it to shoot high, let's say I come and I do this. Oh, put the coupling down, find it. Now I'm back up to doing that, right? Pretty good, but you gotta say, so what's different? Well, what I'm gonna show you today is a whole new philosophy of taking this one here, a four inch pipe, and coming up here, I'm trying to not to get sopping wet doing this. I'm going to take this pipe, raise it up, and I'm going to drop it over here while she's running. Okay? Now when I do that, first off, I stop getting wet. That's kind of good. But here's the biggie, guys. The water's being pumped up this high. This four inch pipe is now gonna fill full of water from here all the way to the bottom. At the bottom, you saw me put on the hose connector. So that water being pumped all the way up there comes out, fills up the four inch pipe all the way up to there. Now for every two feet of height, I get one PSI of pressure of the water. So if I'm up there, I'm gonna pick myself up two to three PSI of water. Where's that water going? Well, it's going down that hose. What does that do for me? Well, this for my friends down under, this lets me take this fish water from my fish tank. And if I wanted to, I could put fresh water in the fish tank, leave it there for a day, and then take this water and pump it out into my garden via a hose. That water being pumped up there, and I could go anywhere in my garden to the length of my hose away and I can water my garden. You see that? Because the pressure here will be equal to the height there. So if I lay it down, I now can do this without carrying buckets of water around. I can head over and water my garden, okay? Is that cool or what? Now you gotta be asking yourself, how good does it get? Well, I'm gonna take this hose at about 50 feet about 15 meters, 20 meters long. Now I'm gonna come over here in my garden and that tower is gonna fill up full of water. When it fills full of water, 
I will have water anywhere in my garden. That is a substantial amount of water and I can go around and water my garden with my fish water or my biofilter, whatever I wanted to. What we're showing you here is how you can take any of our airlift pumps, convert it into a tankless tower. There's no tank other than this four inch pipe. So I'll walk back over here. And here's the really cute part, just better than just cute, cute. Even if I turn off my air pump, I'm gonna turn off the electricity. It is now quiet. It is not running. Watch this, folks. Tomorrow morning, I'll still have water because the water is stored in the pipe until it drains all the way down to the bottom. I have about one gallon per foot here. If I was six inch or eight inch, or what if I had a 55 gallon drum or a 200 liter drum sitting on top of a stand this tall? Do you see then I can gravity feed water throughout my farm, okay? I don't have to have a 20 or 30 foot tower. All I need is six to eight feet and I will have water pressure. That's all I need. So this is pretty neat. The other thing I wanna share with you is when this water pumps up to here and it comes out that one inch and it falls down, well, that's really great. When it comes up and it comes above it, the water building up on top of it will auto-regulate it and this will burp out the bottom. No harm, no foul. So this will fill up, but not overfill. It will not come out the top. It's a cute little system. We're gonna write it up. We're gonna make it available. We'll publish a little pamphlet or book on this and separate videos on it. Just wanted to send it your way and share it with you. Murray, I'd sure like to know what you think of this one. Take care. See you guys down in Aussie land.